Hello guys, this is House Arrest Pro back at you with another Resident Evil 2 for Noobs video. So we just got our other electrical part and we're working our way back down to the uh, parking garage area to put them in. And that's where we're at now. We just boarded up those two windows when we last played. Making this hallway safe and secure. Gotta reset my timer here, I apologize. trying to kill these damn dogs it's not that they're super like tough to kill or anything but they are fast and they they have a tendency to jump all over the place which makes them difficult to hit and apparently there's another one but we're gonna pretend he doesn't exist I'm just gonna do a little zigzag pattern here and hope to hell that he doesn't attack us did we get our other electrical part we did not. Sometimes I feel like such a bonehead. We're going to have to go back down to our storage box, which luckily we have one right here. Seriously. Stand still and take your shots like a real dog. Okay. So we're going to go back down real quick, grab our other electrical part out of our storage box, heal. Um, our ammo situation is bleak to say the least, but it's going to have to do for now because that's all we have. So we've got a grenade, um, a knife, one green herb, which we can go ahead and take. A shotgun with no bullets, a handgun with 14 bullets, one electrical part, so we need that other part, and any, absolutely any ammunition that we can manage to scrounge up. Go ahead and move this one down with the other. What can we do as far as ammo? Anything? Uh, mag ammo we do have the mag but I'm not wasting it on just ordinary shit no it looks like we are in a position this is probably if I'm not mistaken and I've played through this game several times this is probably the worst shape I've ever been as far as ammunition is concerned even grenades like we I don't have any more flash grenades I have my only hand grenade on me yeah this is this is definitely the the most dire straits I've been in as far as ammunition is concerned but that's okay it just makes the game a bit more challenging All right. Yeah, 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 we know. Got our electrical panel over here. I'm gonna plug these in. Now, we just have to sit here and manipulate um all these plug sockets until we get the correct order it always takes me a bit so I hope you guys aren't in a huge rush that's not correct there we go didn't take as long as I thought that's going to give us access to this jail cell. We've got his memo. I'll let you guys read that on your own time. 
we've got some first aid spray and we've got the badge the whole reason we came down here to begin with you say now we have the parking permit okay so what you're gonna want to do now is get the hell out of Dodge because every zombie and their brother has now been released you're also gonna want to get your grenade on me a break. Yeah, you stay right there, buddy boy. Still gonna have to deal with these damn zombies. Can he do... Oh, what a move. That's some Emmett Smith shit right there. That's some Barry Sanders shit. Well, hello, sir. Yes, please. Have a little truck to the face. Yeah, hey, baby. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Nothing dies down here. I like that dress. Would look even better crumpled up on my floor at 3 a.m. Yes, yeah. I've got the key card. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Well, then hear it. Let's get out of here. Smart ass. Fine ass. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. We might want to open the shutter. I'm working on it. I was looking at your booty. Sorry, I have an uh, asphy asphyxiation on an animated character. When I was a kid, I used to think that Grand Roger Rabbit, I used to think she was hot. I mean, I still do. For an animated character, you gotta admit, she's pretty hot. Don't judge me. Okay. Come, come now, Miss Ada. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? Well, how in the hell are you talking to her when you're on the other side of the world? There we go. We get to go in the gun shop. Go in the gun shop. Because this road is out. I love how she has to get right on it to make that observation. Roads out. No shit. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. You couldn't tell that from way back there. Anyone who has had the pleasure of playing Resident Evil 3 or watched my play Ooh, hey baby. Or watched my Resident Evil 3 uh, playthrough video will recognize the gentleman we're about to meet in here. And there is some good shit in this gun shop. I don't think there's a ton of ammunition. But there's quite a bit of gun accessories. We'll gather them all first. 
I do have some ammunition. Let you guys read that on your own time. It ties into uh, Resident Evil 3. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm going to ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you all. You got to turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? That's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed, too. Okay? You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. That's rough, man. It's the new norm for life after a zombie apocalypse. It's rough. Alright, so we've gotten everything out of there. <laughs> mm. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. I'd like to bring you down, baby. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. Down to my town. Thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? <coughs> Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Oh, I 
know what's down here. Alright, I'm gonna lay down a quick save. Something tells me we might need to. Check our inventory, but I think we're good. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so we can attach this to our shotgun. That's gonna make it a two, sh two slot weapon, but it also makes it do a little bit more damage. So, in my opinion, that's one of the few attachments that is worth it. Uh, we do have four shotgun shells somehow after we did that, so that's wonderful. Got one healing item, gonna store that. Store that because we're not gonna need it right now. We have another healing item. We might as well just leave it on us. We have plenty of stores. So that's the way we're going to work it for right now. Come on, chick. You coming? Yeah, she's coming. Some more handgun ammunition. Ammunition is always a good thing, considering we're pretty low on it. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No chance. I ain't turning back. Again. I got this girl. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Holy hell. Wait there. Holy hell. Okay, I'll turn back now. I've changed my mind. Hell with it all. Okay. Okay. I remember when I was a kid, there was always this horror stories of radioactive alligators in the sewers. Holy shit, I can't believe I actually got caught. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever actually gotten killed by him. No, I don't want to freaking go to an easier mode. Who do you think you're talking to? Just because I got killed one damn time by a freaking radioactive alligator here. Anyway, so I guess that's what they were talking about. I think the whole story had started with some... Some kid had a pet alligator, baby alligator, and then threw him... Or flushed him, his mom flushed him or something, so... He went and lived down in the sewers. And I don't know exactly how in the hell the uh, whole aspect of the radioactive material came to be that that's how he grew and grew and grew. Bite on that, sucker. Alright. You know, nice line, Leon. If we were in Louisiana, We'd be having a gator fry right about now. Hey, you want to let that friggin' uh, ladder down? Leon, up here. Yeah. What the hell was? Just get up here. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. <laughs> Speaking of peace, how about you uh, break me off a little bit of that Kit Kat bar? I'm not exactly sure that I understand her so choice of wardrobe. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. 
I mean, I would have to assume that she knew that she, you know, was going where she might get into, like, a battle situation and not a nightclub. So I'm not exactly sure that I understand the red mini dress, um, black stockings, and black choker. But, you know, I'm not going to argue with it because she looks friggin' hot. Where the hell? There it is. Who am I to judge what you want to wear while battling zombies and numerous other strange creatures in the event of a viral apocalypse? Identify yourself. Matt Firkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G virus. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! that from a scientist uh, Leon forget about me just go stop her before she gets away oh. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of a net Not on her, must be in the nest. The guy on the other side of the radio. The guy on the other end of the radio reminds me of how when they're talking over the telephone in the well, Peanuts not, cartoons. Where it's like, wah, 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 wah. All right, so we get to play as fine-ass Ada at this moment. And let me tell you what you're going to want to do. For one, you get this super cool hacking tool. Yes, apparently with a hacking tool. And I used to be an electrician before I was injured, so I don't really understand how this works or how this would work. But apparently with a hacking tool, you can somehow well, why in the hell oh you can somehow generate enough electricity to go to a standard fan motor that it would literally rip itself apart before it would overload the circuit so you know but hey again it's a video game not everything is going to make sense And again, I guess maybe because I was actually an electrician is why that just makes so little sense to me. But I think even the average layman would understand that there's no way for that to happen. But okay. Once again, video game. Let you guys read that on your own. Basically, we need to find an ID wristband.
shit. Honestly, I can't remember how we go about doing this. Oh, hell. Yeah, we're probably fixing to die. I thought there is a way to go around. I just was missing it for whatever reason. So there's the thing we needed to hit. I can come grab all this garb. It's all right, we're still kicking. We have zero healing items. And we're fixing to have to deal with the asshole again. So I need to go ahead and be prepared. Persistent bastard, aren't you? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh yeah. I forgot we have to do it all over again. Oh damn, don't kill me. Shit, I don't know that I can get by him again without getting hit. Oh no. Oh no, sir. Maybe I can use this corner to my advantage. One hit and I am out. <laughs> oh shit. So I just don't need to take as many hits as I did from those damn zombies. Okay, we can do this. There's just not enough room right there. Oh shit, they're just gonna start me back out here. So I can't take any hits. I don't know about that. Don't be so confident and cocky. All right. So we need to do this so damn quickly. Persistent bastard, aren't you? Hell yes, he is. Okay, okay, okay. We should be able to do this now. Hurry, 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 hurry. Easy coming. There we go. Okay, easy squeezy, Japanesey. you guys read that on your own time basically there's a wrist man in the incinerator now, the first time I got here I thought for sure that we were gonna somehow try to use this incinerator to stop mr. X but that's not the case at all Bravo. I'm gonna burn you alive now. You'll never 
never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after you. I realize that. And you won't die alone. Alright, so we need to start here. Take this one out. And if you don't do this in the time frame, the allotted time frame, where the hell is the other one? Um, I, yeah, if you don't do this in the allotted time frame, you will be incinerated in here. But, because we've played through this several times, I know the correct order. I think I, the first time I played through it, I actually managed to do it with like that bitch knows what she's doing. zero time left. Like it was point zero one or something. It was super close. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever coming back to this hellhole. <sighs> Baby, you're sexy even when you're injured. Even when you're on the brink of death. All right, guys, that is absolutely going to do it for this episode of Resident Evil 2 for Noobs. I've been your host, House Arrest Pro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, when we come back here, uh, the next time we will be starting right here from this very point. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a blessed day.